Wow! We make it to this presentation on grass cutter farming secrets, which is on what you need to know about grass cutter farming as a newbie. This is a short presentation that will last for about 25 to 30 minutes uh, video and I want to believe that you will give me rap attention to follow every step of this presentation which will help you to take a decision on how to embark on this lucrative and profitable agribusiness from your home. Now I want to welcome you once again. Your presenter is Olude Latunishi. On this short presentation, Grass Cutter Farming Secrets, which simply focus on what you need to know about grass cutter farming as a newbie or as a beginner. Okay, I want to introduce the topic. Uh, we just want to quickly look at a glance of grass cutter mother and cutlings, what the, it look like in uh, confinement. This is a, a mother grass cutter with its uh, kid, seven kid, and this is obtainable at all inside a wooden uh, cage, and it can be done from anywhere by anybody. I won't see this short uh, presentation. Let's continue with the presentation looking at what you need to know about grass cutter grass cutter is a white herbivorous rodent found in the sub-saharan region of africa it is the biggest after occupying in the rodent class it is referred to as cane rat or cutting grass by many grass cutter are very active at night it eats plays mates and exercises very well at night the grass cutter meat is a favorite one and it accounts for the grass greater proportion of bushmeat sold in most of the continent of africa particularly in west africa that is just a few information about grass cutter and why it is lucrative attractive and why people are looking for it we have two basic uh, uh grass cutter species we have two species number one trionomies syndrenos which is the giant breed and we have trionomy gregronius which is the second class as in if they are not as big as the first one and these are the two uh, species of grass cutter that is common here in west africa in west africa but looking at the one that is more prevalent or available here in nigeria is trionomy uh, syndrenos which is the giant uh, breed by most of the farmer and even in the bush now that we have seen that now what are the grass cutter food and nutrition i seen what grass cutter heat what do they heat because what this presentation is all about is to show you what you need to know about grass cutter farming as a newbie what you need to know about it and how to prepare your mind to really go into it in a full-time uh or part-time uh, business and the expectation well grass cutter food and nutrition the food that grass cutter eat, they are very common and easy to source for. In fact, as a matter of fact, grass cutter is one of agri business or animal that you can feed on a uh, zero uh, budget feeding them because most of the food you'll be giving them is something that you can source freely from the bush without paying a dime, except you want to give them uh, some supplement which is for example in a year it may not cost you more than between 15 to 20 thousand naira or in a year it depends on the size of your farm or the number of colony you have but if not you a grass cutter taking feeding the grass cutter it can be done on a uh, several budget on like uh, on like a uh, poultry and fishery or any other agri business that requires spending and spending on feeding on a daily basis weekly basis and monthly basis if as a matter of how we are going to poultry you must have a establish or standby uh budget for feeding as you are heading for uh failure okay i haven't said this grass cutter food and nutrition number one forage under forage is talking about grasses over 10 various grasses for various purpose grass cutter heat over 10 various grasses for various uh, purposes so one of the food and the that grass cutter eat is forage so forage is the main food heat by grass cutter which is basically grasses and uh grasses in particular and next one they heat they heat fruit and vegetable 
and also food crops and also supplementary fees such as a uh, feed meal uh feed uh, fish and uh, feed meal or uh, chicken uh, feed meal such as a uh, pelletized uh, starter or finisher uh, meal okay then they drink water note grass cutter must be fed at least twice in a day with balanced diet feed combination of forage fruit and vegetable and food crop and also supplementary food such as the one for chicken or for fish now that we know on the, we have understanding of the food and nutrition of grass cutter then what next grass cutter housing we need to talk about how to house your grass cutters and how to take care of them how to house them especially in a confinement at home don't forget that grass cutters are found in the bush but now we are looking at how you are going to domesticate them now if you are to domesticate them what is the appropriate housing method that you must engage to uh, uh, domesticate them properly without any loss without any regret and also without any uh regret now we have extensive housing method we have semi-intensive met housing method we have intensive method so basically in this presentation we are going to look at intensive method because extensive housing method and semi-intensive method is not applicable or as well as a newbie so we are looking at intensive method so under this intensive method we shall be looking at concrete work cage we have concrete work cage as in you can house your grass cutter using concrete wall cage or you can house them using concrete floor cage concrete wall cage is the kind of concrete cage that you do that is on a is erected and attached to the wall whereas the concrete floor cage is the one that is uh do uh, like a floor something that you put on the floor base and also we have iron mesh cage and wooden mesh cage these are the three uh three basic uh, cage that you can enc you encourage and you can use when you are engaging intensive uh my housing method but basically as a newbie we always advise you start with wooden mesh cage or iron mesh cage except you are going on a land scale on a large land uh, large scale uh grass cutter farming that you can encourage you start with a concrete work cage that's in talking about maybe you are starting with something as much as uh three to five million naira. then you can go for uh, for that but if not start with a wooden cage and you grow along the way okay now that we have talked about the grass cutter housing that's in how you can house them domesticate them then the next question to answer is that grass to grass cutter reproduction because reproduction is where your profit is and the potential that your farm has you know everybody that is into farming they are into farming for reproduction or for growth so that you can sell it off now in grass cutter farming grass cutter farming it cannot be compared to um cannot be compared to fishery and uh uh, or chicken because you are selling not for reproduction you are selling uh, for table size but in grass cutter you have to uh, raise a bristle that will reproduce and when they reproduce that is when you can now talk about selling either you are selling for uh, intending farmer or you are selling for table size so reproduction is our focus here as in we, we reproduction of your grass cutter will determine the potential future you have the profit future that you have if your grass cutter did not produce then there's no profiting but so that is why we are going to look into grass cutter reproduction when they reproduce that is where your profiting is so grass cutter is like racing goat racing cow racing pig so all these they are more of a reproduction based uh farming business that determine your profiting now we are looking at the profiting grass cutter maturity every grass cutter is said to be mature at the age of uh they are said to be mature or ready for mating as in reproduction from six to seven months respectively that is male will be seven months while the female will be six months and the gestation period as in when a female grass cutter is pregnant the period that you take to carry the baby in his uh, womb is between 
uh, 150 to 152 days that is roughly uh, five for a month and can deliver twice in a year with average of three to seven cutlings per bat maximally they can deliver up to ten or more cutlings uh, each time they give back as in a female grass cutter can give back to minimum of three baby at a time and as they are moving for as they are getting older they can give back to more they can give back to five six seven eight nine ten in fact they can give back to as much as uh 11 or 12 which is we have it it is possible and we have seen it before and it is still happening so gestation period of a grass cutter female is one to one fifty two days and also winning of cutlings that since the period the time so winning of cutlings has to do with what many days how many weeks how many months it will take for the female animal to nurse to breastfeed uh is a baby before it, it will be ready to meet the male grass cutter again for in readiness for another pregnancy period so when you have cutling to see that your female animal give back twice in a year then you must win the cutling from their mother within four to six weeks after that then you can introduce the mother to uh, male grass cutter for mating after one week post winning test so for you to assure to for it to be uh, possible for you to achieve two times in a year child bat by your female grass cutter this is the process you have to follow and that's what we call winning that is raising the animal when the mother will feed and breastfeed the baby it and it is done within the period of four to six weeks and then if you can still uh, stick to this then it is possible for your animal to give back twice in a year so that has to do with reproduction because if they give back twice in a year that is where your profiting is okay now that we have seen that talking about health because every animal have their own health challenges how about grass cutter they also they have their own health challenges which is highly manageable and even uh, very far, far manageable compared to every other animal grass cutter like any other animal have some health challenges that are manageable and not always deadly if you are a proactive and very observant uh, farmer number one one of the challenges is trauma which is as a result of wound fraction of abscess you know grass cutter they run a lot so they can wound themselves or they can fight or the like so apart from this and the, the trauma from the wound is what they can do they, they may be one of their challenges and talking about fracture so and beyond this uh, this can be manageable if you put your animal in a good uh, position and nobody trouble them nobody intrude into their privacy because if someone intrudes into their privacy while they are trying to jump from one corner to the other they may wound themselves so that is that and uh, that is why i say it is manageable and number two respiratory problem this has to do with cold and pneumonia so if you expose your grass cutter to too much cold then they will have respiratory respiratory problem which is as a result which we bring about cough or cold or pneumonia and like i said that it is preventive in nature that's in just by the way you call build your grass cutter housing will determine if they will be exposed to uh cold or not so it is highly manageable and preventive preventable also and the digestive and intestinal problem this has to do with the diarrhea constipation loss of appetite and weight loss and this has to do with the way you feed them you must know how to feed them not to have digestive or intestinal uh problem and this is something you have to learn so to know how to feed them the kind of food you give to them that will not lead to digestive and intestinal uh problem and what again skin problem and that has to do with loss of hair and scaly skin of course you know they are hairy animal and so if they lose their skin you know it means that something is wrong so yeah, this one can be taken care of in fact as a matter of fact it's well you know all these challenges we are listed they are manageable preventive and uh you can guide against it by the whole miss and the next thing is dental problem and dental problem has to do with you no know, animal grass cutter use their teeth a lot to eat so as their teeth grows so also everything it can affect them so there is a way you manage it that their teeth did not grow beyond their manageable so that it will not injure them and what again 
benefit of grass cutter farming what are the benefits of grass cutter farming number one grass cutter can be real for meat or uh, that is for consumption grass cutter can be real for breeder that is new farmers grass cutter is cheap and affordable to feed in fact that is is one of the animal that you can spend zero budget on free on feeding grass cutter farm does not require bigger space to start you can start from your from the corridor of your house from balcony from your backyard even a spare room in your apartment anywhere so grass cutter can because it doesn't have far odor yes grass cutter are neat animal it does not generate powder as i just said it now and also grass cutter farm is a multifaceted income generation agribusiness that can generate six to seven figure monthly income if you know how to do it properly now that we have talked about the benefit of grass cutter farming as a beginner then i want you how to get started with grass cutter farming business number one get trained you need to be trained at all get trained by studying good report books video attend seminar etc this can be done via free or paid method but i will advise you have a mentor by simply buy into any of their training or mentorship program it will give you an edge and speed in your grass cutter farming uh, setup and also decide on how many colony of grass cutter you want to start with either winners or adult based on your financial reality decide on your housing metal wooden iron or concrete cage and build it and also source and order for your brick stock from a verified and trusted farmer this is where you will need you will enjoy benefit of having a mentor as you cannot avoid to get it wrong here following your mentor advice okay having said this i don't want to just conclude by telling you this that if you are wanted to start a farm business that you can run and manage without affecting other business i recommend grass cutter farming grass cutter farming requires less time and little money to manage unlike poultry and fish farming you can start grass cutter farming with 200,000 naira and turn into seven or seven figure agri business in 24 months from your backyard talking about 200 k this will take care of your cage your animal and many other good things that need to start with your start your farm with and also if you care to learn how to start this profitable and stress-free farm business then i want to introduce an online video training that will help you a lot this is introducing grass cutter farming from backyard what is grass cutter farming from backyard grass cutter farming from backyard is an online training that we will show you the introduction to grass cutter farming that will show you factor to consider start grass cutter farming that will show you how to start grass cutter farming with 200,000 naira startup capital that is talking about building your cage getting the animal getting drinker and feeder and many other miscellaneous expenses that need to incur when you are starting grass cutter farming and also how to build grass cutter cage on a low budget and how to construct well, wooden cage that is safe for grass cutter growth and profitable profit progression in 24 months starting grass cutter farming with 200,000 naira how to source for healthy brick stock without being scammed how to feed your grass cutter healthy and for productivity how to rear rich potential buyer for your grass cutter farming business selling them and lot more and also there are bonus training bonus of five to seven ways to make seven figure from grass cutter farming business grass cutter forage and food in pictures how to formulate healthy organic pelletized supplement fee supplementary feed for your grass cutter and also special telegram support group and also i have 30 minutes business talk with anybody that joined this uh, training so all this how the question is how much can i get this training this training you can get this training for three thousand naira so grass cutter farming from backyard will be listed on seller at ten thousand naira at ten thousand naira but because you are reading you are a part of this training and you are watching this training it will be sold at 70 percent pre-launch price plus bonus worth over fifty thousand naira which is 3000 naira offer price and this offer price will only be available in the next uh, three days note after three days the price will go to 5000 naira but if you have fast to grab your copy now you will get it at 3000 naira before the price finally reverted to 10000 naira now the question is how do you order for it to order for this just pay 3000 naira into any of account detail below then you will send your name your phone number and your email address that you pay and the mention the name of the product you pay to foresight 
cash at gmail.com or sms to 081 this is how you can take advantage of this and when you pay this money then you will enjoy all what is mentioned in this bonus in this main training and the bonuses so all you need to do just go ahead and make payment of 3000 naira into any of these account number on the online and then you are going to be enrolled for the training it is a uh, online video training that you will be added to the training and you will share a download link with you you download it and then you start watching and if you have any question you'll be asking it in the uh where in the support room so want to want you to act now so that you not miss out and with that you will learn how to start grass cutter from your backyard or your balcony and grow it to six to seven figures within say 24 months thank you for watching Thank you for listening. If you have any question, you can reach me on that number and through my email address. God bless you. Have a nice time. See you in the other side of the train. Bye.